Who here thinks like culture is imperative for an organisation? Because why? Because who we are, great. And why is this, why is this so important? It's who we are. Reputation. Reputation. Identity, great. That's the enjoyment. Enjoyment, beautiful, <laughs> lovely. It's the levels of engagement and motivation of all your staff and working towards the, the common goal. Fantastic. Who here thinks leadership is key to an organisation? Yes. Yeah. Because why? It's the tone. It's the tone. What else? Because they install the culture. Install the culture. Anything else? Sorry? Direction. Direction, beautiful. Who here thinks like teamwork is really important? <coughs> Because why? Supporting each other. Supporting each other. <coughs> Fantastic. Sharing knowledge. Sharing knowledge. Working for the same goal. Lovely. All great. Okay. Yet, as popular you all here, but as a general corporate culture, how much do we invest in those three areas? We take it for granted a lot of time. Absolutely. That's first identity, right? Because propping ourselves up, it's easier than going, oh my God, we aren't actually who we say we are. So we just go, too hard basket, let's not change. We aren't doing that bad after all. I was speaking to a manager just this week from one of the big four banks. He says, Errol, we're doing our annual team building program. We're really busy, we only afford half a day. Okay? What do I know already about the company? That's okay. team. Not, not prioritising it because it's only what? Only half a day a year? And what else I know? They are really busy. Could those two be linked? <laughs> Possibly. They're busy because they don't invest in their culture? and their leadership and their teamwork. They're busy fixing all the Sim fires. Beautifully. Putting spot fires out and not really investing in the underlying stuff. We all do it in our lives. It's not, not a bad thing, but it's building our awareness around when we do it. And does it really serve us long term and even short term? Because training and developing our people, our leaders, should be a business decision. So if a company comes to me and goes, Errol, can True North Learning improve our culture? If I can't say, if you pay me X amount of thousands of dollars, okay, and it costs your people five days of productivity, if this program can't return 2X in profitability, kind of make you more efficient, so those five days you spent, we're going to have 10 days more of efficiency in the next 12 months. You shouldn't hire me. But how often do we do that? We go, we've got to train our people, we've got to tick a box, let's do a program. Yep, we've done a team building program, great, you're all happy now, gone temp in bowling, no, gone like go-kart racing, no, but nothing really changes. So that day, of, day we spent go-kart racing and the X amount of thousand dollars we spent had no return on that investment because nothing really changed. So do you want to spend a day and a thousand dollars for nothing? Or do you want to spend a week and fifty thousand dollars? That's my fee these days, no, I'm joking. No. <laughs> and, and have a return of a hundred thousand dollars and a week, two weeks productivity. Easy choice, right? We put it through that, that, that framework. But we don't think like that.